Welcome to the gala tonight. 30 years ago, Peggy Cole and Hayes Clark had a vision for our community. As the founders of our Martin County Boys and Girls Club, they could see into the future. Tonight, we celebrate their vision, along with the commitment of our past board chairs, who've led us to become the beacon of promise that we are for children and families in Martin County. Throughout the years, and with the help of our board and donors, we've seen tremendous growth. While our roots are in Hope Sound, we've expanded and opened new clubs in Indian Town, Port Salerno, Palm City, and soon in Stewart. Our clubs are more than just a place to hang out after school. They are a safe haven to students on a deeper level than you'll ever know. We have so many different kinds of programming ranging from sports to gardening, to science, to drones, to digital vibes. Everyone can find something they like here. In addition, we have a very strong partnership with the school district. Kids go to school during the day, then come to us for after school supplemental learning. And all of our programs are for free because we aim to do whatever it takes to build great futures and for kids to be hopeful about their own futures. We had a young man who came from a broken home. He struggled at school, he struggled here at the club. And when I came and, and took over as the club director, he had a real hard time with the expectations that I set. And we were able to wrap our arms around him get him some of the resources he needed to get his head on straight, um, to do well in school. There's gotta be a really big impact in the community with what folks are doing here. I know that when I was coming, they had not only help with homework, but they were helping kids that were getting their GED or were at risk of dropping out of high school. And those things were something very needed in the community and I'm sure even more so today, this is a kind of shining light for uh, those that might be at risk in the area. It raised the money for the gymnasium and also the land next door where the parking lot is now. We purchased that land and uh, I also ran the first big fundraiser which um, is now the, the gala or the big event each year in January. So we uh, had the first one when I was president. We had a terrific board and a number of great programs were initiated through everybody on the board. It was a very much of a team effort. During my tenure, we built Indian Town, and that was a very exciting time in the life of the Boys and Girls Club. But we, as a board, had determined that we needed new uh, executive leadership. And so the process of forming a search committee, interviewing people, uh, and finding the right person is a huge job that uh, falls to the board and the search committee, but the chairman ultimately makes those decisions. When I became chair, it was just before COVID hit, and our goal was to provide programs that were much more, much deeper in terms of academics, that we wanted to work in mental health, we wanted to work um, to provide opportunities for teenagers after they left high school. And so we expanded our board throughout the last three years, I think we have had 15 or 16 new members of our board and they're fantastic and they come from all over the county and from all walks of life.